happy Tuesday. Today's Tuesday tip. Great to see you all. So I had the amazing opportunity of working with some middle school and high school math and science teachers recently at a school district that we're working with. And we're in the same room and we're having conversations about how we can get our students better making sense of data and better analyzing and interpreting the data, making their graphs, things like this. Data is a connection between our math and our science and even our social studies departments we, our students should be looking at and working with data across all of those. And we've been working together for a while, for a while, and we were get, going through lots of strategies that we could use in our individual disciplines. And then the light bulbs started going off and there were these incredible aha moments as a sixth grade science teacher was sharing you know, that they're working on density and they're having their students do some exploratory data analysis with density of mass versus volume and thinking about kind of how we might visualize that and how we might make sense of it. And then the sixth grade math teachers chimed in, we're like, we were just doing fractions. And so they had this great opportunity to connect on how the students were talking about fractions and how they were exploring fractions and the concepts of fractions in their math class and how we could use that to inform and support the work that the students were doing in their sixth grade math unit where they were exploring density and the ratios and how those connect up together and the relationship and connection between a numerical fraction and a numerical ratio and when we are looking at a linear relationship of a two bivariate of a bivariate graph it was so energizing to see the the synergies happening and the you know the ideas going back and forth within the group and then it spurred another amazing conversation that i want to share some eighth grade math teachers were sharing that they'd been having their students look at distance versus time graphs and thinking about how do we actually read describe and analyze what's going on in a distance time graph as it relates to say going to school and coming back and when your speed would vary and how that would change the angle of the slope or is it an out and back of a return and things like that, which prompted all these great ideas from the eighth grade math teachers and their forces in motion unit, which they are working on. So in eighth grade math, they were working on functions and helping kids understand the functions. And in eighth grade math, they're moving into forces in motion. And so again, it was this great opportunity to think about what data are showing up in our eighth grade math classroom that might support or even use the data that we're collecting in our eighth grade science forces in motion. And, and what language can we use in the science experiences, activities around forces in motion that connects into how the students were looking at functions with the distance and time graphs. So these are just two quick examples, but we're connecting on what are we talking about? What's the language that we're using in our math and our science departments can be really beneficial for our students to help them explicitly understand how we take content and skills and practices in one of our disciplines and apply them into the other and vice versa. It goes both directions. It's not only math coming into science. Science can go into math as well. Absolutely 100%, but also make things easier for us as we are facilitating that learning because we can use language that our learners are using in their other classrooms. We can think about where are their opportunities for like a two bird, one stone. Let's use the data set in multiple different ways to get at the different concepts. There are so many things that we can explore. So the tip is go talk to your colleagues across your other departments. Get these benefits that this school district was able to have by having math and science teachers talking together, having those collaborations, those conversations around working with data. Can't wait to hear how it goes and what sort of synergies and collaborations are happening in your school and district. Have a great Tuesday. Bye, everyone.